Hi, I'm Nick Brusator. I'm going to take you on a tour of the Terrasphere facility in Surrey, British Columbia. I'm going to start right here where we use your traditional standard peat pucks we get from a great company called Jiffy Products. After these pucks are saturated with an organic based fertilizer, they end up looking like this. They grow and hold nutrient and water for early stage seedlings. So after the peat pucks are saturated, we begin to seed them by hand. This takes about two hours every four days. We seed about 4,400 plants. The next phase is germination. This is what a plant looks like after four days of germination. As you can see, there's no roots coming out of this plant yet, so it's not ready to be moved to a different light cycle. There's enough saturation in the puck from the seeding when we flood the trays to hold this plant here like this without being watered for about seven to 10 days. Now we're finally in phase two of germination. This is what the plants look like after 10 days from seed. As you can see, there is some small roots starting to develop. Still a little tender, not quite ready for the main farm. So what you're looking at up there are plants that are about a week further along than the plants that I showed you down here. They're now ready for the thinning process to go into the main farm. The root structures are developed enough that they can handle the colder temperatures. So now we're in the farm. Now what I'm going to show you is phase three. These plants have been in this machine for about 10 days. As you can see, the roots are well grown and beads of water on them, feeding. There is 11 levels on this machine, all with 400 plants per level. These plants will go out of this lid into a lid that will have 25 plants on it. So they have all the room that they need to grow full mature heads of lettuce, 12 months of the year, anywhere in the world. So this is Terrasphere. We design, build, and we'll be operating facilities all over the world soon. Without the use of pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides, and zero water waste, we can mass produce food all over the planet. So with the equipment that you see standing behind me, we have the ability to mass produce spinach, strawberries, all the lettuces, all the herbs, and the possibilities are endless. So I believe that this could be a possible fix to help solve world hunger, not to mention the reduction of fossil fuel use. We have the ability to get food to the remote locations, urban centers. So please, let's open our eyes. This is happening right now.